Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems something something. Hey everyone, B1B Flyer here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint the smoke plumes and missile effects that I've got pictured here. These are 3D printed, but you may make your own or sculpt them out of green stuff or get a different version. So this will apply to different ways of painting smoke plumes, which will also carry over to jump jets. For the paints, I'm going to use an off-white, a light gray, an army green, a black wash, in this case dark tone, orange, and yellow. You can also use red, and I'll show you an example of that at the end of the video on how I did that. I also primed in light gray. You can use white, whatever you have available. I've got my number zero synthetic detail brush, whatever you have that has a nice fine point. As the first thing I'm going to paint here using my military green is the body of the missile themselves. I'm just going to take my time, be real careful, try not to get any paint onto the smoke areas. I've intertwined two missiles in this example, so they're pretty close together, but I really just want to keep the green to the missile body itself and not get any spillover. If I do, I'm going to go back and touch it up just so that when we go and use the wash, it's going to go over the gray and make all those effects look like smoke without having a, to do too much work to touch it up. Once that's dry, grab some yellow and some orange. I've got it fairly thin because I'm not trying to really make it opaque in these recessed areas right behind the um, missile body here where the flame jet or plume would be the brightest but I'm really just letting the paint flow into the valleys the recesses there in here so that it'll make the the appearance of a hot flame coming from the back of the missile and again as I mentioned before you could start with yellow go through orange and all the way to red depending how far you want to make the missile color the flame go if I use red, I tend to start with a, a brighter orange with a little bit of yellow mixed in just because it's easier to transition to red that way and I don't have to go through so far of a segment behind the missile. If you sculpted your own or you used a gritty texture like sand rolled in super glued around a wire or something like that, this effect, this effect will still work. You just need to make sure you get it into those recesses. And then if you get a little bit of a spillover and you kind of want to delineate that, just go back and touch it up with some, some white or light gray to look like a similar color to the primer that you used. Once that's all dried, I've put some wash on my palette. Again, in this case, I'm using Army Painter Dark Tone. And now I'm just going to cover over the entire surface. I want to get all those recesses, some shadows, and really I'm, I'm using a black wash, but I really want it to turn out gray. Smoke is usually a gray or tones of gray, depending on the intensity, but it can be, it can have spots of, of black or close to black in it. But the, the army painter tends to thin really well. I can keep touching it up. I can pull it away with a paper towel and the, br the brush to wick away any excess. I can add a little water onto my brush while it's on the actual area to thin it out while it's on the model. So there's a lot of options there. And you can see here, I'm getting some nice defined dark recessed areas initially and the overall color of the gray, light gray primer has turned into a more medium to moderate gray. I'm gonna to continue to work on this. Once I've covered the entire surface area, I'm gonna go back and again, I'm going to make sure I don't have any heavy pooling, anything that's gonna look a little bit more out of place. It's really, it shouldn't have extremely dark shadows. But again, this will be completely individual preference on how much or how little you wanna go onto this type of effect but the the point of it is to just change the entire color of the smoke plumes all at once using the least amount of work once that wash is completely dried you can see here we've got some nice variation to help make that smoke look a little bit more realistic i've got some of that light gray in this case stonewall gray and now we're going to use a small dry brush i'm going to load my bristles and then take off most of the paint and now all I want to do is catch those raised surface areas. And I'm really trying to work mostly perpendicular. However, think about how your missiles are going to be oriented on the model, or if they're already on the model, that's fine too. Uh, but I'm going to have a high side, and I want to make sure that that high side that's towards the top of where the model is going to be is a little bit brighter than the bottom side, just because smoke will still have a shadow on it. It's still going to be affected by the properties of light. 
so I'll, I'll make sure that I kind of set a neutral tone overall over the entire smoke plume area and then I'll wait for that to initially kind of dry and then I'll look at it again and maybe hit it with a light second dry brushing in some select areas. If it gets a little messy or you get a little bit too much here and there, go in with a little bit of a darker gray or maybe take some of your wash and touch it up a little bit again. It's it's very back and forth if it needs to be and you re it's really hard to not make this look like smoke but if you if you feel you don't like it you can always just kind of work back and forth there's really not a whole lot of risk in getting a little bit of too much paint here and there as a final step just to define it and make it look a little bit you know stand out i like to paint the tips of my missiles a white or a yellow or a red so in this case i'm using that off-white color i'm going back and just redefining just the highest edges so that they look a little bit unique and stand out from the overall picture of the smoke coming out. And here's the other example I mentioned before where I used more of a red and a orange with a little bit of yellow added instead of starting at yellow. And you can just see that it's different and if that's something that you prefer instead, just vary the paints from yellow and orange to orange and red. And here's the model as it's finished. You can see the yellow and the orange just slightly showing through a nice smoke plume that makes the missiles look like they've just been fired. All right, Tex. It's your turn. We certainly hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and leave your questions or comments below. Follow us on Facebook at Battletech Camo Specs Online. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Heat critical, shutdown imminent, time for Pop-Tarts.